I'm sitting here with Stefano, who just won against Cloud uh, in a quarterfinal match, right? Yes. And, uh, well, first of all, we're going to start this interview by, by this last match. Could you just say some words about it? About what? About the last match. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, first game, I kind of knew he was going on Helion, so I opened with Roach. Uh, I couldn't defend quite easily his attack. I lost only like four or five draws. Uh, and then he expected me to go on links, uh, bad links and uh, Aphestos, but um, I, I knew he expected me to do that, so I went on Mutalisk and um, I, I could defeat his first push uh, quite easily and after it was just... Yeah, I just won after. And second game, I I, I went on my uh, banning links and uh, Aphestos game um, strategy I mean and it worked quite well on this map because the Tovan can't uh, take a third base easily so I, I can take a macro hatch on a third base where he is, he is only on two bases so I, I just out macroed him and yeah that's it. Well, uh, in the group stage you came out victorious uh, so I mean like you topped the group stage and uh, some words about group stage like you played against Grubby how did it went and uh, overall your impressions of the group stage okay uh, my first match I get a tough win because the guy uh, didn't come and then I played uh, Slivko uh, I want to win it's a easy, easy so it was kind of random uh, there's nothing to explain it was uh, links roach and banning games then I played um, uh, I yeah somebody I played somebody but yeah it was night end uh, it was this morning but I was a bit late because I'm sick so I couldn't uh, get up in time uh, I lost the first match uh, they gave different to the night end then I won the two other maps and then I played Grubby it was for the um, first match uh, first um, place of the group and it matters a lot because it makes you being on top or down on the bracket. So I try to play my best because I don't want to be on the Hydra and the MC side. And I managed to win, so I'm quite happy about it. Now that Hydra and MC both lost, are you surprised with the results? Uh, about Hydra, I'm not really surprised because it's uh, as easy and it's kind of random. So yeah, and MC. Um, I didn't see the game, but it was a PDP, so it's kind of the same thing, I guess. Yeah. This is your home turf, you're from France, and uh, do you feel any special motivation <laughs> playing at this tournament? Well, not really. I'm trying to play for myself, not for my country right now. It's too much to handle to play for our country, I think. In your interview at uh, IGN Pro League Season 3, you said that basically you're just playing for quite a while and uh, you're con you want to concentrate on studying afterwards. But now since the things go really well for you, have you ever thought about changing your mind? Right now, not really. Uh, I'm still uh, thinking I'm, uh, I will start my studies next year because I don't see myself playing um, Starcraft to my whole life, uh, I have to put uh, an end at some time. So uh, I hope I, I keep going, doing well, and win enough money to, for my studies. And yeah. uh, but um, in case I mean, like you continue winning, which I hope. But uh, wouldn't be like <laughs> kind of sad to leave Starcraft. Perhaps you would try to do two things at once. Well, uh, I want to make uh, to study medicine, so it's quite hard to play StarCraft and make study at the same time. But uh, I've said if I re win the lot and be the best in the world, I think I'll keep going for one more year. But it's not going to happen, I think, now. How long have you been playing StarCraft for? Uh, I started in September last year. Yes. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, you said that Dimaga was one of your like people you look up to. Do you cheer for him at the tournaments? Uh, like you said, he was because he's not real anymore. We cheer for his, each other, but I don't really uh, watch all his games and try to study his uh, game style. I just make my own game style at this level, I think. Yeah. But, uh, 
you surprised, I guess, everybody uh, when you beat so many Korean players. How you keep? I mean, like, is it because you didn't participate in many tournaments and you don't feel like they're unbeatable or something? How can you keep calm when you're playing against them? Like, keep relaxed. Uh, I I think. Uh, uh, I'm not that much on the um, StarCraft scene, so I, I don't really know the Koreans' level. So when I play them, uh, I'm not telling myself he's the best in the world, I will lose. I just tell he, he's some kind of a uh, good player and uh, I can win like any other player, like an European or uh, any. And uh, I think what happened a lot is that they don't know with me, so I, I could surprise them with some uh, good strategy like my... Um, Zangling and first of play, they are not used to it, so uh, I, I could take some map in the IGN California and in the IPL3, yes. Do you feel any extra pr pressure put on you because you won IGN and uh, now you, you play here? Do you feel like you have to be more prepared than, than usual? Yeah, obviously. Right now the Koreans know how I play, so I have to or improve myself on the thing I already know to do or find some new strategy to surprise them again but it's starting to get hard to win against uh, Koreans now yeah. uh, How are you? I mean like is it okay for you to transfer from one tournament to another? There's been like short time and how much do you uh, how much time do you spend practicing? Right, I'm not really used to this kind of um, travel uh, schedule, so um, I'm kind of tired because I was at uh, um, Atlantic City, then Orlando, then Paris, then I'm going to Berlin, then I'm going to Sweden, and then to Korea, and I won't have so much time in my house. I think I will spend like 10 days in my home. And I hope I do well because I'm really not used to it, as I said. And uh, about the other question, I, right now I'm playing like four hours a day, but it's uh, four hours of uh, pure gaming, not uh, replays and stuff. And uh, do your parents are they happy that you are playing computer games like now and uh, winning tournaments and playing really good? Do they support you? Well, right now my f my whole family is supporting me, but. Like two years ago, when I was playing Warcraft 3, they didn't want me to go on this way, play uh, video games and stuff. But I I'm happy because I, I managed to make them change their mind. And, um, I've seen like you were walking around and everybody was like screaming your name. Do you get used to this? And uh, how do you feel about it? Well, it feels great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Um, I'm not used to it, and I like it. Yeah. When you when you won IGN, like, um, which was the best moment? When you actually won in the final, or when you went up on the stage to get the check? You know. I, I think it was when uh, I went on the stage and get my check, and everybody was yelling Stefano, 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 and yeah. And uh, what do you think about like Russian and Ukrainian players in general? I mean, like they didn't prove. I mean, like Livezer played pretty good, but uh, since we're a Russian website, we're kind of interested in what you think. Uh, I don't really know Livezer. The only players I know from Russia is Bratoke, and from Ukraine is Dimaga and Strelok, and uh, I think that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for right. Sorry. Well, they're all pretty good. But I think well, we have kind of the same level, but they're not not coming a lot. So um, international events, they're a bit stuck in uh, Russia and Ukraine, and that's a shame, I think, because they could do really well. Um, okay, any like final shout outs you want to thank somebody? Yeah, uh, I want to thank all my fans. Uh, I like being supported and all my sponsors from Millennium like Matter.net, uh, MSI and uh, Winamax <coughs> and all the French community. Well, I hope you get, you get well and not sick and uh, good luck in the uh, next games. Thank you very much for this interview. <laughs>